guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. I've got quite a few things to actually go through. There has been a lot of, this is the whole thing, we're doing all these pre-orders for like Turtles, um, He-Man, and then they've been, I've done these pre-orders like months and months ago and then you just completely forget about them and then all of a sudden your front door is like a knock and shot. So today I am gonna go through the Turtles of Greyskull Shredder. This one's been quite difficult to get hold of here in the UK. It's a bit, bit random but on the front box he's got him there with Skeletor but on the back he's actually fighting Splinter there on the car's arse and you got the little cross cell and the other little figures that came out with this wave. Now this was like going back with Beastman, which was which was some time ago, and I'm only just getting my hands on them now. So let's crack this guy open, have a little closer look. So it comes with a little comic with Skeletor on there. I don't know the title of this comic because it's the the EU version. So with regards to Shredder, he comes with the uh, like the basic book of the He-Man type of style. In like with the body and the little cod piece thing going on. The articulation, again, is all like the origins. You've got the head that bobbles up and down, turns left and right. Arms 360 splay out, they've got a ball joint on the elbow and the wrist is on like a little pivot waist 360 arms will splay out back and forth knee joint twist at the boot cuff and the little feet are on a little ball joint as well now he comes with a ton of armour so with the shoulder pads, the arm gauntlets the little shins as well Didn't, the shin ones are not wrapped around like you would see man at arms. Thank God, can't stand those man at arms uh, armor. They just slip up and down, and it's an absolute nightmare. But these ones have got little clips that just clasp over it. Taking that off, he's on his little boot. He's got the little hood logo as well. And he's got them horde type of feet thing going on. So you can see it's like reusable parts from various types of figures. With the actual gauntlets and his shoulders, they do wrap right the way around. But they are proper secure. You've got the little details with the little blades all coming off them as well. Now his armour piece, his chest armour piece... That is one mould, because and he's got like this blue flexi cape going on on the back. Texture on this is proper cool as well. Taking it off, it is just on, I believe it's like a little clip piece, yeah, at the back. So, let's just pop his head off. And then, so you'd have to pop his head off and pop his body off his waist to actually get that but you've got the little red logo at the front and at the back it's just like a little peg and clip into the back of the cape to secure it now his head so obviously it's uh, the actual helmet is his head so you can't take the helmet off to see exactly what he would look like underneath but the sculpt on it is absolutely pretty awesome, really. You've got these big red beady eyes coming through it. Now that I've clipped that cape off, it's a bit of a nightmare to get back in that peg hole. So a little bit fiddly to get the peg back in the hole there. But these origins are all modular, so you see me pop the head off, you see me pop the waist off but it's the same thing with the arms and it's also the same thing at the boot cuff 
as well they would pop off. But Shredder, he comes with the little hood crossbow in like a dark grey and it's kind of like a what would you call that like a maybe a goblin head or something at the front because I know some of these are all different I don't know which one this is obviously to repaint and I can't remember whose that was it might have been leech maybe it looks like a bat head or something or other but then he comes with this axe accessory as well and again it's all like mottled quite textured on the blade the actual handle side of things it's all in those little noblets going down it's got a little point on the end so he just comes with one grip of hand for this axe who holds it pretty well and then if I just twist his hand round so we can clip the crossbow in and there he is pretty cool figure like I say quite rare over here I mean I ended up getting him off eBay the dreaded eBay but he was just at retail price which was fine by me but let me know your thoughts on Shredder, guys. What do you think? Have you got him? Was he as hard to get where, you, where, you're, where you're from? Let me know your thoughts in the comments overall. But while you're there, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in, and I will catch you on the next. More to come. See you soon.